Hello there, welcome back to Creech Plays. Well, we're off to continue our um, playthrough of Metroid here. Um, I've noticed in the last episode I was kind of rambling on a, like a, a lot, so I kind of apologize for that. Um, blank it down. Yeah. So, in this episode I'm going to try not to ramble as much. I mean, it's going to be kind of hard, but... Because this game doesn't really have that much dialogue in it, you know? Like Pokemon, I can just read what people say. This... Nothing like that happens. So anyway, today we're going to try and uh, progress a little bit more because, uh, yeah, this is going to be a fun experience. Oh, come on. Ah, damn. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. I did uh, try to play this in my free time to uh, get a good idea of where I want to go. Um, anyway, one of the things we are going to do today is take on Kraid. So that's going to be fun. Um... That's one of the boss battles we're going to be doing today, and uh, we're going to just explore a little bit more, uh, get some more missiles too, because pretty much he's going to be destroyed by missiles pretty easily, um, so I'm going to try to save them as much as I can, because I don't really have that many at the moment, I only have like 25, but yeah, even here you can, um, oh, oh damn, ow, Oh, poor guy, ew, looks like I got some, like, what is that? Orange goop? Whatever. Anyway. Ah, damn! I forgot the same tack. Open that eye, you stupid, you stupid thing. Oh, there you go. All right. Here comes Craig. I think. Yep, here it comes. All right, you big stupid lizard. Come on out, you big dope. Come on. Oh, no. He's gone huge. Ah! Oh, I forgot about those. That missiles. Oh, okay, yeah, super missiles help out a lot too. I only have a couple left. Ah, <laughs> just the stupid little fingernails. It's gross. <laughs> you big ugly thing. This is horrible. He looks like us Americans. Oh no. Oh. 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 oh, oh, oh. That was easy. I thought you were going to be a lot harder, but I guess not. Well, super, super uh, missiles really help out a lot. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, I'm trying not to ramble too much. The Vera suit. Uh, yeah, now I can go in that one room where it was too damn hot before. So that's that's nice to have. Anyway, yeah. Look at the suit. Come awesome. I got the spikes now. Samus, you look hot. Wait. Okay, never mind. I'm not going to go there. Um, so if you haven't noticed from the previous episode, I do have a new mic now. Um, my friend let me have his uh, Yeti mic, which I was thinking about upgrading anyway. So I'm glad I have that now. Um, let's just farm, I guess, for a second. Yeah, that's good enough. Um, so I, if I sound a little different, it is because I have that now. Um, also, uh, damn, he gave me all the super missiles. Um, I do have a pop filter now, too, so I just recently got that. I didn't have it in the last episode because I had to wait for it to get in the mail because, you know, the whole thing is going on. It's kind of hard to get some packages in the mail. So, now, since <laughs> freaking Prey was that easy, um, I think they're all above me. Yeah, that's good enough for some this thing. Yeah, get that thing out of here. Alright. Oh, I think I remember the controls again. Um, another thing I noticed when I was, um, editing the first episode, not only I was rambling on like crazy, but, um, my controller, um, keys keep picking up. Get off me, thing. Get off me. God, I hate those things. Uh, let's see here. Get off. I need you to get off. Oh, that's right. There's an energy taken here. Yeah, I need this. 
Um, and so during my uh, free time, I went uh, just a briefly ahead to see where I wanted to go. Um, there are a few places that I want to explore a little bit because there are some places where I can get some additional equipment that I want to use. Um, that probably would help me out, especially in a uh, tough pinch. So, what we're going to go is go back to that Narfair um, area. I think it's called Narfair, because I think I called it like No Fair, like an idiot. But, yep, we're going back down here and hopefully um, can progress a little bit more. Um, let's see here. Now, since we got the suit, we can go in little hot areas now. Let me check out the map real quick. Yeah, so I think I can try to go to the right over here. Let's go. Oh yeah, now I can go through here without a problem, so I don't have to burn up and, and stuff. But get some additional get some additional stuff. Oh, this guy sucks. I was playing this earlier. Those guys take a crap ton of damage off you, and I hate that. Oh yeah. I don't need no special boost. There's none over there, so let's keep going. So yeah, today we're going to get some additional equipment that's going to help us tremendously. Um, well, I mean us, it means me, because I don't see you guys playing this with me. I wish, I would, I wish that was happening, though. That would be kind of cool, like a Metroid multiplayer type of thing. And then, um... Oh, come on. I'm not doing that. That's horrible. Come on, everybody. Boom. All right. I think, I think down here is the door. Yeah, yeah, it's a super missile door. So, man, how many missiles did I waste? I'm an idiot. Oh boy, the lava's rising. Oh no. Oh, I hate these things. Ooh. Can I attack? No, I guess not. Oh, I killed something though. Up, oh, hit the lava. Can I not attack you? I guess not. Uh huh. I gotta get used to the jumping again, because, uh, like I said in the previous episode, I'm still trying to get used to the controls here. Can I kill this thing? I, I don't think I can kill that thing. Oh, fuck, just jump right into that like an idiot. Oh, yes, the bubbly area. When I was a kid growing up and, uh, playing this and seeing this room here, I'm like, uh, what, what the, what the heck is this? Um... I think, yeah, there's a false floor. Jump down here. Oh, I think I have to blow this thing up. Blow this up. And, haha. Oh, pff, the spikes. Ah, that thing. Missiles. Alright. So we have to keep going towards the left now. And progress a little bit more. If I remember how to get there, it would be great. Back up. Ah, pfft. Yeah, I have to go back up. And now I can get to go this way. Because you'll see me go backtrack here early, uh, later too. Um, because uh, there's going to be a, a certain item I want to get up in a room up ahead, which I can't get until I get a certain ability, which will come pretty much soon. Alright, if I remember correctly, I have to go down, but I can't remember which door this leads to. Uh, where am I going? Oh, I can't go this way. Now. I remember, things are coming back now. So I haven't played this for like a couple days, so. Um, what's that? Oh! Place to farm, and that thing, which I can't even do. Oh, God. Oh, I can't go that way anyway. Alright, well, use this time to get some more equipment. Let's go. I'm so happy I got the high jump boots now, because I can jump a little bit better. Alright, let's go. So, as I said, I, I got a new mic, and I'm happy with it, because I, I feel like this mic really helps me out. Because, um, 
it helps with editing a lot of my audio. Um, let's go down this way. And, I mean, it, it's kind of hard to get microphones at the moment anyway because this whole thing we've got that's going on in the world. Um, but, ah, jerk. Shoot laws at me and stuff. Ow. Gosh. Freaking lava world. I love how this planet has like a lot of diversity uh, when it comes to like um, different places to go. Like, oh, that's lava world. And then we, got, we got water world. We got this place here. It's kind of snowy a little bit. Um, it reminds me of like that in Metro um, like Metroid Fusion explained that a little bit better, in my opinion. Because uh, it's like, yeah, we're, this is a research station. There's different habitats. So that's why there's so many different levels of. Uh, things here is because this is a, a frozen tundra ha habitat this is just like a, um, a forest area here that has more life and and this it's like man this planet is super goofy um like a planet with like this would not be really um a, something like it um in real life because yeah it just too many diverse like uh territories within a short period of space so it's like they would definitely interfere with each other um oh god these things again all right those things i can kill these stupid ball things can just go away and oh i remember this room there's nothing i can really do here i have to go up and jump around and have fun with that yeah i'll come Dang it. Well, I'll just kill you anyway. And just get some more energy that I've lost. Alright, another one. Great. That's fine. Just they walk like a chicken. Like, um Alright. Oh, I forgot. You have to use like five missiles to open this freaking door. Okay. This is gonna be the fun part. Uh don't, don't fall. Don't fall. Haha! Uh, uh, -ha, I did it! I got the missile. What's that? 35 missiles now? I've lost track. But I can't go that way because I need a grappling hook, which that's going to be fun to get. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, no. oh, well. Let's do this again. <laughs> You're going to learn soon and I'm really stupid oh my god I keep falling down I can't navigate because I'm an idiot uh. um, another thing is too I'm using Elgato to record this and I noticed while editing the first episode that there were some parts where like the lines were wavy and stuff not like um, not like it is right now because this level is on my screen wavy because it's hot obviously the other places it was just kind of wavy anyway and i was sitting there thinking man i hope this doesn't screw up on the recording but it turns out once i rendered the video it was fine i just didn't understand it so i got to hate these things all right um I forgot what's in here oh yeah i gotta go up can you jump through there you go yeah let's go ahead and farm a little bit yeah Let's see what's in here. Ooh, I know what's in here. Something I'm definitely gonna need. Run, Samus, run. I do like the very tiny details in the sprite in this because if you do turn right, um, your blaster's on the left side. You turn this way, you see a little hand there holding the blaster. That's super cool. Because in other games, they just they just like copy the image like Nintendo's got that polish where it's like no no we're gonna make sure it looks great it actually work oh yeah the speed boy stuff hold the Y button to run remember you changed this button yes I did because I don't like your current controls and it's gonna be crazy right now because the lava's rising and I don't want that to happen run Samus oh yeah look how fast I go yeah, boy Usain Bolt uh oh I, I wonder, is there, is there something over here that I can, like, do? I can't remember. Nope. Oh. Alright, let's go back down, because we're gonna have to. Was it? 
this here? Or this one, okay. Oh, they're gone, thank God. I don't wanna mess with them. I can't remember if there's anything on that side either, but I don't care. <laughs> like I said, I'm not really gonna explore too much. Phew. All right. Now, I do need to go back up there later, but in the meantime, there's a safe point here, I think. Yeah. Let's go ahead and save right now, because a lot, a lot has happened. All right. We're having a pretty good time now. Um, because it took me a good 40 minutes to get to here when I was playing by myself. Um, in my own time. I'm like, uh, I don't want to go through here. I'm gonna go through that speed boost room on the other side. Which I think is like right in there. Yeah, that's where I want to go. So, bomb this. Bomb that. Once we get the super bombs, this is gonna be a whole lot quicker. But, it, I, like I said in the first episode, I really love this game. I can probably play this over and over and over again. And it's just that one of those games that you can just constantly play. It's like people when they say they play, they can play Zelda a lot. I mean, Zelda is a great game too. And I probably won't play it all because I'm an idiot when it comes to Zelda. Like, I, I, I have friends who are big fans of Zelda series, and I just can never like sit down for a long period of time and play it because I feel like I'm a complete idiot for one, and two. Um, there's like there's some players out there that would just decide to play the game with, like different stats, different like not stats but strats. Where I'm sitting there going, I don't know what's going on. Like <laughs> I just want to play. And like people do like a no bomb run or like no shield run or no so or everyone can do like a no shield run, but like no uh, sword run. And I could never do that. Like I can like torture myself with Pokemon and give me like a, a stupid Pokemon team and go from that but with this I mean um this you, you can probably say I'm going to do like a no um certain blaster uh run but you kind of have to use all the tools in this game to at least progress there's like not a time where you can't use a um item speaking of which here comes the ice beam oh yeah I like the ice beam, it's pretty awesome. I was gonna say cool, but I decided not to say it. Um, now, this will help us navigate a little bit better. And especially with these dang things, I can shoot those and they can stop shooting me. Stupid little wall thingies. I forget if like super missiles or like um, power bombs destroy these, but I really don't care because I'm not gonna attack them. So, Oh yeah, look at this. Boop, boop, ah crap, and boop. Sweet, now I can navigate a little bit better. The phaser helps me shoot that there, so I have to aim really goofy-like. And, oh yeah, the floor falls. Cool. Uh, now we get to, oh! Jerk, forgot you were there. Oh yeah. Now, I do like one of the special abilities in Super Metroid, not Super Metroid, uh, in Metroid 2. I'm going to keep on saying Super Metroid because I'm playing it. Um, I do like one of the abilities that um, you get where um, you get like the spider ball. The spider ball is cool. You can help navigate a little bit better. In this game, I wish it kind of had it, but I understand why they didn't use it. Because people probably have exploit a lot of places to go to. Um... Which, they want the game to be a somewhat narrative, not narrative, like, linear version, um, rather than just co completely full exploration. Um, oh, can I go through here? Uh oh, I don't think I can go through here. Well, maybe, hang on. Nope, I don't think I can. Well, dang, I guess we have to go walk around, I guess. I forgot about that. I thought I could just easily just go through. Unless I can bomb that somehow. If I can bomb this the way I want it to bomb. Because it's kind of hard to, like, time this. Uh, come on, Samus. Hit those ball bombs. 
Alright, never mind. I'm I'm not even gonna try it. Alright, we'll have to go around. In the meantime, um I'm gonna talk about a topic that since there's not gonna be a lot going on, I can just bring up some topics I like to think of, uh, especially when it's related to this game. Is that um well uh, rumors have it, or not really rumors, it's kind of, kind of confirmed that if you guys know who Brie Larson is, uh, she's the girl who plays, uh, Captain Marvel, she expressed, expressed her feelings to play Samus in a Metroid movie, which, I mean, I don't mind seeing a Metroid movie myself, but I feel like her as an actress, I don't, like, I don't hate her, I just think some of the roles that she does, her acting is kind of flat. Um... Like, I think she kind of phoned in a few uh, uh, performances that she's done. But some other performances she's done, she did a tremendous job. And it's just that um, with Metroid, it's kind of hard to really act as Samus because you don't really get much of a um, um, background with her. Um, but uh, it, they try to do that like in Metroid Other M, and they didn't really work out so well. Um but, like, trying to give her a voice. Because Samus is, like, that soft-spoken... Um, well, not really soft-spoken. Like, doesn't speak really at all. It's like Link in Zelda. Um, like, everyone complained about having Samus having a voice. And then you get an actress like Brie Larson, who um, can, does definitely look the part of Samus, because I've seen her um, dressed up in a Zero suit uh, for Halloween, and she looked pretty much legit. And, it, I don't know, it just depends on, I think, it depends on who's writing the script, um, who's doing the movie, um, because, dang it, float, fly back here, fly back here, uh, yeah, now I can jump up there, haha, <laughs> that's important and everything, um, whoa, damn thing, ah crap, there's lava, Hey, I got the missile, and I'm stuck in a lava pit. But Brie Larson can definitely pull off Samus. It's just that it depends on who's directing the movie, who's writing the movie, and, um, really, um, how the project's gonna go. Um, so, honestly, I think the best thing to do is just find out who's gonna do it and just go from there. Would I like to see her do the part? Sure. But I'm kind of skeptical about like how she does it, um, because I've seen some other other projects, and I feel like either a she's gonna nail the part rather well, or b she's gonna probably make it worse. Like there's oh, look at that. <laughs> that was a happy accident. Um, I didn't think I see that before when I was playing um, on the side. Oh. Can I get up there? Yeah. Here we go. This is what I wanted, a reserve tank. Because I'm going to screw up and have no energy left, and this thing's going to help me out. So, yay. Um, but as I was saying, um, hey, quit, quit it. There you go. Um, I, I feel like she can definitely pull it off. It's just that it just really depends on who's doing the project. Um, but other than that... I don't really see Metroid as a movie, because there's a lot of stuff in Metroid that you can't really put in one movie. Unless you do like a montage of her killing all the like the bosses, which you don't want that. You you want like a full blown um kick ass scene of her taking down all the like the main bosses. Like even if you don't have like Fantoon or like Croquemire, you can have like just Kraid, Ridley. And mother brain that'd be fine that's like how kind of was in the first game um and if you're going to make it a series it's going to be kind of um difficult for some people to understand because samus like i said doesn't really speak um hence why i have to speak for everybody so i can uh at least have a decent show over here um but yeah you, you can't really have a, a character who doesn't really speak and then try to make it um uh a, like a compelling narrative well you can try to i mean other media have like other people who don't have done it 
you could do like a visual tale, but majority of the audience today, they're, they're just stupid. So they're like, I just want action. I want, I want someone doing like one-liners. That's not Metroid. Metroid doesn't do that. Now, could I see Metroid as an like, an animate, an, uh, animated series? Oh yeah, like a Netflix animated uh, anime series. Like, they're doing that with Castlevania. And look at that. Castlevania, that anime is actually doing rather well. So, um, how many seasons is that? Is there three seasons of that now? I can't even jump over here now. I'm so stupid and thinking at the same time. That makes sense, doesn't it? But yeah, like, if they did Metroid like that, I think it'd be a lot better, uh, um, scenario for the series. Let's see here. Where do I, where do I go now? Hmm. Can I go down? Let me give that a shot. Because this is where I kind of, like, stopped playing when I was in my spare time. Because I kind of forgot what I needed to do. Alright, let's keep going a little bit. Well, so for my question of the episode today is, would you approve of Brie Larson being Samus in a Metroid movie? And if not, who would you cast in that movie? Um, also, who do you think would should take direct director's chair and who would be great for uh, making a project? I know it's kind of a big question to ask, but I mean, I mean it's a big thing. Um, you see these other, like, um, movies that are based off of uh, video games and they've never had a really good track record but like recently like Sonic the Hedgehog a lot of people like that I know some of my friends uh, didn't really like it but I mean I think they went to go see it drunk so I mean how can you watch a movie like that and be you know a little bit of a um, judging it I guess I should say I can't go that way because there's nothing for me to do that way. So I guess we go this way. Anyway. Oh, yeah. I, I love the, the cool colors in this area. But, yeah, I, I feel like a, a Metroid movie would, would work. It just depends on who's doing it. So if you get, like, some random dude um, to do it, it's, it's not going to do so well. Like... Like, don't have anyone like Michael Bay doing it, because that would just ruin it. Like, look at that, like, a uh, Uwe Boll guy who did, like, um, like, Far, like, a Far Cry movie. He did, like, Postal. Like, he, he's a horrible director. I mean, worst of the worst. And if he did something like Metroid, I'd be, be highly upset. Now, uh... When I was younger... Ah, damn it, I forgot about this little fella. Get off me! Alright. Um, this is like rumors back in like 2005. So they were talking about having John Woo making a, a Metroid movie. Um, back then. Because that's when like Metroid Prime was going on. And a lot of like people were, uh, have uh, backed up the idea of doing it that then. And that's like when like CGI was kind of doing well. Um, not like really well, well, but I mean, good enough that some people are like, yeah, just, just, just make a movie out of something, because Star Wars is doing all CGI, and we all know how that turned out. A lot of people hate the prequels, but now it's like they found some new appreciation, which, I mean, I, I like the prequels, I mean, ah, oh, crap, get out of, get, 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 yeah. Speaking of Star Wars, it's like the Sarlacc pit down there, jeez, old Pete's, Ugh. I know one of these is false, but I mean, but all right. Oh, I don't want that. All right. But yeah, they they wanted like John Woo to make the movie, and um, I think at the time they're thinking about having Jessica Simpson do the movie. And if you guys don't know who Jessica Simpson is, all you have to do is look up. Um, let's go this way and save real fast. Uh, Jessica Simpson. Um, Fish of the Sea Tuna. Uh, Chicken of the Sea Tuna. Because there's a clip in her show with Nick Lachey, who's a Cincinnati native, which, oh god, that poor guy. Um, so, she was talking about tuna and saying that there was this brand of tuna uh, called uh, Chicken of the Sea. Um, 
because like obviously tuna is, has like almost the same consistency as chicken and she was asking him if it's tuna why they call it chicken of the sea and he just gives her, her like this goofy look because they did this reality show and I'm sitting there going too like are you, you're serious right and she's been like she's a lot of people were saying that she's in, it's infamous that she's like a bit of an idiot and stuff like that I have to have the power bombs to do this okay well never mind um, can't go there and oh man it, it just had this big huge like thing going on about how dumb she can be and all that which I mean yeah people say some stupid stuff but I say some stupid stuff and I don't think I'm supposed to go this way if I'm going anyway um but yeah like we all say something stupid once in a while but she just had to be on camera when she said it and then everyone's like oh she's so stupid though. you know and like give, kind of give her a break but at the same time I don't know, she kind of deserves it. Oh, here we go, the power bomb. That power bomb looked kind of weird, though. All right, so I can equip it and then boom. <gasps> There's some stuff behind here. Oh, more missiles. <laughs> I can use more missiles. Um, but I mean, her as uh, Samus, I I don't know. I. That's not a false one. Ah, I don't know one of these is false. No, nah, it's not this one either. Is it? Is it this one? No, you're not all false. This ain't the false room. All right, that was stupid. See, people do stupid stuff. I think there's that one room where we're just in that had the false, uh, false stuff in. Would you? Time. I'm also like I'm aiming directly at this dang thing, and it does not want to die. Um, but I was just saying, like having her as Samus, I, I don't think she that would have worked at all. Um, because I her acting anyway is kind of kind of meh. Like I don't know if everyone's seen like the Duke of Hazards, like the du Dukes of Hazard, like the um, TV movie, like the TV adaptation of the movie. That, that movie, uh, oh no, it's the other way around. Um, but oh yeah, I got power bombs, stupid. Um, boom. Is this the false one? Yeah, that's the false one. Yeah, power bomb. Do they give me five more or two more? Cause it, I think one of the games they only give you like two. Um, ow. Which. Oh, it does make that part a little bit harder, though. Um, let's see here. Let's go up. I don't know where we're going, but we're going up. But yeah, she was really bad. She was Daisy Duke in that movie. And, uh, it was pretty horrendous. Something's here. If they're playing this music. Nothing around. Alright, let's go. Oh, this place looks kind of familiar. Wait, where are we? Oh, okay. Cool. Um, there's the wrecked ship. Ooh, we might have to do that here soon. Well, anyway, let's go ahead and keep on moving for a little bit, and then we'll just call it an episode. Let's see here. These little things are kind of cool. I'll take all the power bombs I need. But yeah, can you imagine Jessica Simpson being Samus in a John Woo movie? John Woo, like, if you don't know who John Woo is, he used a, like a, uh, he's a, um, I guess this is towards the wrecked ship, yeah. Um, we'll go shave, save at the ship. He's a, he's an Asian uh, director, I think Chinese, or I can't remember if he's Chinese or Japanese. Um, but... He, uh... Hey, what is this thing? Oh, this is towards the ship. All right. Ooh, we might have to explore this next time. Yeah, let's do that. Um... Oh, come on. I have to bomb all this. I got power bombs. What am I doing? Yeah, there we go. Oh. Let's see here. Uh, 
Whee! We're out. Just kidding. I wish. Does that hurt? Oh no. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Oh, it takes up energy. Oh, I can't do that right now. Ugh. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Landed right on the ship. Yeah. Let's go in. Now we're out of here. We're just flying. Yeah, we're done. Anyway. But yeah, can you imagine that? Uh, John Woo making like... There would be like doves and stuff flying around. Because he did like a lot of... Uh, Chinese. I think he is Chinese. Uh, a lot of uh, Chinese... Um, crime movies and stuff like that. But anyway. Let's see here. Yeah, I think next episode we're gonna explore the wrecked ship and meet some interesting characters and just explore a little bit here. So, anyway, I'm gonna just jump right back over here. Like that. Get back in the ship again, because that was fun. Double save, why not? Well, if you guys enjoyed the episode, don't forget to leave a like if you want to continue watching the series. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And as always, folks, stay safe, stay calm, rock on. See you guys around.